Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back today with my Take 3 book. This is number 3, I believe. Yep, we used napkins for number 1. Let me find one. There we are, there's one. And there's another one back here that I made into a pocket. And then that was last week's where we used scrap paper and we stamped and inked um, some flower stamps. So I have put them in place. They were on an envelope and I've just made a floppy envelope there opposite that page. I thought it was nice. And uh, yeah, so we'll do something today using three items. So I've got stencils. So a, a variety of stencils I've picked out. Unfortunately, I don't have the names of those ones. This one is an A All and Create. It's um, number 101. So we might use that one and we might use one of those ones. The, if you don't have a stencil, um, I made this just cutting out some circles. So uh, you can make a homemade stencil if you fancy. So that's item number one. Uh, Number two is mushrooms from this huge book that I got just uh, the other day uh, from the secondhand bookstore. So it's filled with great mushroom um, illustrations. So we will use some mushrooms from that rather large and heavy book. <laughs> and the third item I'm going to use are these brushes. Now I've had these a long long time um, and you'll see how they work in a minute when we when we go ahead and use them. Um, so I've got brushes and these are very similar. These are called infusions and um, yeah we might use them too. If you don't have these you'll see uh, in a minute when I go to use them that you can maybe use um, ink or a uh, paint or watercolour, anything that you fancy, just adding colour through the stencil. So, uh, so yeah. So, I've got my watercolour card here. This is just cheap mixed media stroke watercolour card uh, that I buy in Hobbycraft. Um, so, we'll just leave that down there. Okay, let's choose a stencil. I had a bit of a go with this one and it worked out okay. Um, it will look better than that once we've cut it down and did the edges and done something fancy with it. So I think maybe we'll use this one this time just for a wee change. So oh, let's just get the stencil down with some washi tape, low tack tape or whatever you fancy and I've got some water here and we are just going to give it a, a squish. There we are and choose some of these. So this one is sandstone. So just randomly, it's like putting salt and pepper on your mince and potatoes, or your mince and tatties, or your fish supper, <laughs> or whatever you put, you want to put salt on. This is burnt sienna. And with these, you can see that it goes <laughs> um, lime green and you get little bits of different colours when it hits the water it's quite a cool effect um, blue let's put a wee bit blue in just in that top corner and we'll go back to the Sienna 
for this top. Oh no, that's the pinky one. What's the sandstone as the orangey one? Oh, browny orangey. Maybe it's just that colour because it's not much water up in that bit. So we'll just give it a little squish. There we go. So, the theory is we will lift Oh, they're very vibrant, aren't they? I think I'll mop up some excess water first. And then, um, before we lift the stencil, this is where you can get nice and messy. Without lifting too much of the colour and without spreading the colour and then adding, ending up with muddy colour, we don't want that. Right, we'll put that in the bin and we will lift and see what we've got. Yeah, you can still see the um, the outline of the stencil, that's quite, I'm quite pleased with that. Just get this little damp bit Right, so you can see how if you don't have these little um, powdery brushes, then, you know, you could um, splash some watercolour or splash some acrylic paint or, yeah, whatever you can add or just do a normal stencil -y thing with a stencil brush like wait till I get one out so you could just use your normal um like you know just just do your normal kind of thing wait till I get the, the one that matches that color that's close enough so if you don't have the brushes we can obviously just do what you would normally do with a stencil. Yeah, that's quite cool. There, I've got obviously I've got some watery bits just because it's still got water on it. But, but you know what you would normally do with a stencil, either using like a bit of sponge. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I would use the brushes just because came across them and I hadn't used them for a long time and I thought maybe you would want to see them. Right, let's move that out the way to dry because I've got this one that I did earlier the exact same way and I'm just going to trim it up. Let's just move ourselves a little bit of space because what I want to do is make pockets with these so I don't know how many I will get out of the one um, the one stencil the one stenciled piece I don't know how many so I need to measure my book I need to hold it against the book and then see here's the book here's the book here so if we wanted to put a pocket somewhere We wanted to put a pocket there, then it would be about there. Keep that bit. <laughs> Never throw anything out, and I maybe want my pocket to be about half. So this is five and five 
and a half centimeters. So, so half, half, half of five is two and a half, and half of a half is, is that, and that's two and a half. That's about there. Right, so we've got two little pockets and we're waiting on our other one drying. So that's quite cool and that's quite cool. But let's see if we can make it even better by just inking around the edges. I'm not counting ink and the you know the paper and whatnot as my one as my three because otherwise you wouldn't really be able to make anything because you'd be like well it's ink so everyone needs the the paper the background piece that you're going to be using the main piece if you like this is scattered straw and I just thought that might be quite nice with the fact that the mushrooms are a kind of um, yellowy browny colour and of autumn colour and I thought that might be quite nice and then maybe we will just add a little bit of vintage photo just at the corners Yeah, that makes a difference, I think. I'm not really a big inker, but some things like this need, I think, a little bit of ink. Right, so now these mushrooms might be just a little bit big for, hmm, cut these out already and I cut out the names from the book as well, the headings. Right, let's see what we've got. I think maybe I cut these down too soon without thinking. Maybe we'll need to use them long ways and not make them a pocket and we'll just make them journaling cards yeah and we'll just put them in a pocket because there's a pocket there's a pocket somewhere and I might just do that there's one there and I'm sure there's another one somewhere so we'll, if we don't have a pocket we'll make a pocket for them that's an idea but I think we'll need to do these vertically just because of the size of the mushrooms right let's see oh yes that's good let's see if we can lepiota cristata that's a fancy name Now, do I want the bit underneath or do I just want the main headline name? Oh, yeah, that's cool. And this one, now let's see, this is, yeah, this is nearly dry. So let's think, let's cut this down. Let's cut this down and choose a nice piece that we might want.
Once it's cut down and you've inked the edges, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? Look at that. I love that. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm amazed. Uh, they're turning out better than, you know how like you have things in your head? You imagine how something might look. I think it needs to be against that background. Oh, it's good against the green there. Now, now we need to think. Yes, I think the green wins it for that one. And then we've got this big, long, lanky legged mushroom. I like that there. Right, that's fine. Right, I'm just going to make them the same size. So let me just get my pencil and we'll just make them that size and that size. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll cut this one first. to use that for that one the cutter here it's here I'm going to have lots of nice little bits left over <laughs> there we are now now I'm confused. Oh, does it matter? That one's too long. Was this one? I think it was. I need to look back the video <laughs> and see which one belongs. Do you think, do you think it really matters that it might be the wrong name? <laughs> uh, do you know, I think that one was that one, that top one. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to have to put this one into two. But that's okay. I wonder if we can use artistic license and just put, oh no, we'll go with both names. We'll give them their full names, whether, 
Although we don't know that it's in the right place. But anyway, right, we need to ink around this one. So I hope everyone has been well. I have had an unscheduled absence all week. But we're here now. And I'm happy to be back in the crafty room. So yeah. Sometimes, you know, life gets in the way of of things and that's okay. You've just go with the flow and do what you can. And yes, I'm enjoying this now. We'll just do the corners again. With the vintage photo. It's sort of autumn colours but isn't. There's a, there is a sort of bright autumn colours if there's such a thing exists. Now that I've done that, I'm confused again. That one was that one, wasn't it? Uh -huh. That was that one. And this is this one. Right, let's stick them down. Um, and we will need glue for that. Let's just clear off a little bit of space. Here we are. Right, I'm going to put the big one in the middle this time. And the only thing with the book is you've got to choose um, because there's illustrations on both sides. <laughs> but that's okay. I think with these ones, by and large, I wasn't really all that interested in the ones on the other side of these anyway. So that was good. Where did the name go? Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Right. Let's do in no side fast. How are these going to go? This one and this one here. So slightly to the left. And I love the book, the, the mushroom book as well, because um, it's not too shiny. The, the pages are quite matte, so that fitted the bill as far as that was concerned. Right, in O Saibi, in O Sibi, in O 
Astigiata. These would be great in a nature journal, wouldn't they? With maybe, like if you stuck them on one page and then did like your own wee, um, wee sketch of them and, and put down the, stamped out the real names and yeah. If I was doing a bigger project with them, maybe that's what I would do and just kind of pretend that, you know, these were your illustrations and then draw your own version of them and maybe do a little watercolour sample page beside them and oh you could make them really fancy that's for sure right and my fingers are starting to glue together and we'll put little baby one here that's like um, mop on the wings which is mum dad and the baby <laughs> in english <laughs> mop on the wings there we are so hi grossib so that's very close, that's innocib, and this is a high gross sieb. Sieb must mean something. Nigrisessence. <laughs> right. Whoops. We'll put one there and then one at a jaunty angle. Not a jaunty angle, just offset. There. Okay, I think that's us. Oh my goodness, if you could see the mess to my left here, you would be tutting. You'd be. Look at the mess she's made. That's what you would say. Look at the mess. Okay, we were going to maybe see if there was a pocket, but I'm not going to keep them in the pocket just now because I've got to do the usual photograph for YouTube. And I could put them in that envelope. be a wee surprise to open the envelope and them be there. That's a pocket. We could go in there. Because that's kind of nature-y. I think I'm going to make a special pocket for them another day. A mushroom pocket. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do a mushroom pocket. And um, I think that'll be cool. And I'm going to keep them in the mushroom pocket. And I think maybe another day I will back them with some, maybe some craft paper. Or some paper with just a little bit of pattern. But for now, it was only three items. It was the stencil the brushes and the mushrooms so yeah I'm really pleased with them a little bit of messy play without too much mess <laughs> apart from the mess that's over there okay so that's me for today and I'll see you next time thanks for watching